my dear friends welcome to raj shekhar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 408 in this lecture we will try to understand what are ans ensembles the english word ensembles basically means group of things typically it is used in the context of group of musicians performing together so ensembles basically means collection or group of things typically it is used in the group of musicians performing together as far as machine learning is concerned ensembles basically is when you have multiple models being combined together used together somehow used together to build a powerful model so the way you work is you have some sample models m1 m2 m3 so on mk let's assume each of them are your simple models these are also often referred to as base models these are simpler models each of these simpler models you can use any of the existing techniques you could use you could use techniques like uh, Uh, logistic regression support vector machines decision trees k nearest neighborhood algorithm any of them so you have these bunch of models m1 m2 m3 so on mk and now it try to combine all the advantages of all these models we will try to combine these base models into a more powerful model by powerful it means it could be it could be more accurate there are multiple instances of what powerful basically means but in just core essence is can you somehow leverage the go, the good part of multiple models and combine them intuitively combine them ingeniously actually combine them very creatively to build a more powerful model capital m using 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 the combination of all of these models m1 m2 so on mk that's the, that's the core idea of ensembles there are four types of ensembles there are four types of ensembles that are typically used in machine learning these are these are the most types of types of used ensembles there 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 is some something called bagging which is very uh, popular bagging is also referred to as bootstrapped aggregation bagging is in short is it's a short form of bootstrapped aggregation there are something called boosting what is this boosting which is of the form which is other form of building ensembles and then there is there is stacking and there is there is cascading and these are not these are not the only form of ensembles but there are there are but these are the four types of standard strategies used to build very powerful very very useful in real world very useful ensembles by the way using one or more of these techniques you can build very high performing models ah uh, you can you can build high, very high performing models often times very powerful models and and if you ever want to win kaggle competition kaggle compte kaggle competitions for those for those of you are uh, for those of you who don't know kaggle competition kaggle is basically a place where data scientists go and compete for most kaggle problems for most kaggle win winners use some of these strategies to win their kaggle competition of course goal of this course goal of this lecture series this course is not to win kaggle competition but you you make a good real world data science engineer or data science scientist and and by the way it is not just it's not just these are used in competitive uh, setting this is this are this are very very useful in the real uh, in the, in the real world one very important key aspect one very very 
key aspect of all ensembles is that since you have multiple models, let's assume you have model M1, M2, M3, so on, MK, the more different these models are, the more creatively, the better you can combine them. We will see the details when we learn the exact techniques, but in general, more different these models, the best, the better you can combine them and get more power, powerful, you can build more powerful model. So you can think like this, imagine each of your model, I can say, let me say each of your model MI, let me say your model MI is an expert. For example, if you are solving the problem, let's assume we are trying to solve the problem, you can think of each model MI is an expert. If you have K experts, let me say I have expert M1, expert M2, so on. I have expert MK. If you have K experts who are expert in different areas, one expert in mathematics, one expert in physics, one expert in statistics, combining opinion of all of them ends up giving you a better solution than just one expert. That's the core gist idea of ensembles. Just go through this. If you have any difficulty, just keep a comment. I will continue my lecture on ensemble, um, the, my discussion on ensembles in my next lecture also. Thank you very much.